tree isn't supposed to be there. Uh, uh oh. Let's get to it. I feel like my harvester's a shishabob. I mean, these trees aren't supposed to be through a tire. It is a extremely wet day out there. It is raining all over the place. Thought I'd come in here, start my 9600 up, get it all running, and yeah, this is how I found it. This is, I, I didn't even know this was like this. You ever see like them uh, posts when after a thunderstorm when you see like uh, a deck of card or a piece of straw or just the smallest flimsiest thing like a garden hose directly through a tree trunk? I feel like I should post this or something. This just isn't right. So. The good thing is I did call, so the insurance did come through. So we do got some uh, deal coming up. So the thing with the insurance is they actually picked up all the equipment already. So the Magnum, you saw that leave. Uh, the semi left, our Eagle, what else left? Uh, our, actually our uh, dump trucks and our uh, Chevy truck thing with insurance is I'm not going to get a dime unless I replace that with like items then I'm going to get the replacement cost so I gotta go shopping I was hoping I wouldn't have to go shopping in the rain hopefully it dries up around here ah uh, finally thought that was never going to end man I just felt wet even looking at it Start up our old Cummins, so we have to head to town. Uh, I don't know exactly what our options are going to be. Uh, everyone is going full blower on harvest right now. If you can see out there in our fields, yeah, our soybeans are ready, our corn is ready, and our cow harvester has a tree through the tire and actually one for the gearbox which is a little bit more serious tire easy replacement gearbox not so easy uh, I don't know I didn't even to be honest I, I'm kind of ashamed I didn't even report that to the insurance adjuster so that poor old guy is gonna have to come back out and assess it the only issue is, is that's gonna take some time so, uh, I hopefully, I'm going to try to lease and harvester over the season. Don't know for sure. We're going to see. Okay. First thing I get to do is probably my most favorite thing to do, even in real life. I just got to do this in real life, and I love shopping for trucks. I love to test drive. I'm probably a salesperson's worst nightmare because salespeople, they make commission. All they care about is making a quick sale. Me? I like to make sure the truck I want is the perfect truck for me, so I'll test drive every brand out there. I, I don't even, even if I don't think I'm going to like it, I'm going to test it. So let's see what we got here. Pretty sure... So we got some brand new Fords here. Remember, we're in the 90s. And some, ooh, just love the front end of these Chevys. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, Ram 2500. Two of them. Actually, we just parked one of these. Uh, a red one. Right over there. Ooh. You looking good over there in the back there, girl. When I'm going shopping, I always look at the best item last. I try to see if I would like another item before I just run to that item. Uh, maybe that's uh, fast 
awkward, but uh, I don't know. That's just the way I like doing it. Let's see these new Fords. Uh, to me, I prefer the other style better, in the front at least. Uh, it's locked. Uh, that's a bummer. Hmm. I mean, the insides look good. So, if you don't know, we actually, a half ton was actually what got destroyed in the tornado. So we had a similar extended cab, half ton, two tone, beautiful truck. It got destroyed. It's a bummer, but, and then these are basically exactly what we rode up on. This is what I was looking at. Look at this beautiful, what is this? It's like a frost or pearl white. Mm. I just love single cab trucks. Just the look of them, the feel. They're not convenient, especially if you have a family. But I just love them. What is this? Uh, diesel? Oh, open here. Fairly clean inside. It's almost like they put a whole bunch of armor all over it. It's all nice and shiny. Ooh. Starts up nice, runs nice. It's definitely armor all because it's nice and sticky. Hopefully that's armor all. I'm hoping. I feel like I should wash my hands like extensively. Uh, the miles for this one has is not showing up. I don't know why that is sounds good let's see ah this reminds me of uh hank's hank's truck here this is a classic look at that five on the floor that, that sound just gets me every time good truck definitely a good truck not crazy about bench seats here probably would like I'm um, just if I'm driving I like to be pampered I like to have my own seat at least but this truck definitely I definitely like the sound of it don't know I'm just not crazy about extended cab uh, this is the truck I need right here. Door panel looks like it got pulled off there or something. Well, this is a good truck. Definitely feel like a man driving this truck. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Yep. I forgot to tell everyone, so... I'm sure, I, I know some of you might have been concerned. Timmy, we did locate him. Uh, somehow, Timmy got in another state. Long, long story. Long story, but... I don't know how Timmy... Timmy did it. I, I don't even know all the specifics yet, so I don't want to say. And it's, it might be kind of private and sensitive, Timmy. So, we're going to keep the specifics out. But... Oh, oh. I want to jump this ditch. Woo! Oh! Yeah, there we go. Jump this hill right here. Now, this is the truck here. Yeah, I'm the type of person... I'm never going to buy the same thing twice. Just because I don't think... I, I, I'd much rather just try something new. Why not? I mean, our last Ford on the farm was actually an older 70s Ford, so I think we're due for a newer Ford, a 90s Ford here. Why not? All right, we actually sealed the deal, so obviously we still have to work out some specifics. I'm hoping this will be a clean deal, but to be honest, we still owed on the Chevy so it's not like we're getting something for free uh, but we're at least not having to pay for nothing if that makes any sense whatsoever 
So now that I have this, I'm gonna head home. I actually want to go pick up the gooseneck. I w I'm just dying to see how this thing pulls. I gotta pick up another item. I just love this Reese, Reese drop hitch on this truck. Man, that is a good looking hitch. I know, I know. I like my hitches. All right, we got our gooseneck hitched up. So you're probably wondering why in the heck what are you gonna pick up as a gooseneck? So we got our, this is a heavy duty gooseneck. So this, once you see this item we're picking up, yeah, it's it's going to be a little heavy. So we, we leased a harvester, we need to go pick it up. We don't even have a semi. Yeah, we got this nice, beautiful trailer with no semi. So we can't exactly hook that up. I mean, I guess I could try to hook it up to that OBS would be kind of cool looking but it eh, might be stretching reality a little bit so we're, I'm gonna hope this huge harvester fits on this OBS so we we aren't we aren't letting this thing slowly break in around this farm it's going all in right away all right I know, so if you see, we actually are driving by the green. Ooh, Jake, the harvester's a little tipsy over there. I'm gonna have to let Jake know. I think it, yeah, it's starting to lane there. Uh-oh, I know, I know. We're driving by the green, and, but we are to the red so all we were able to actually lease a green harvester but I'm kind of excited to be testing out a new axle flow 2388 right here with a uh, I think it's a 30 foot head yeah yeah I believe that's a 30 foot head so we got a 2388 axle flow it's got performance where it matters where is that at where where does it matter i don't know but if you see so this is the old style 2388 the other style the biggest the easiest way to tell is one has it the air cleaner in the back and the other one has it to the side there's some other minor differences, but we got duels on this one, so it will hopefully get through the mud and the muck. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. It's almost like we uh, tipped our little uh, twine things here on our header with gold. Yeah. It must be brass or some type of steel. Definitely looks gold, maybe rusted metal, one of the two. So the head won't be able to fit on that trailer. I'm hoping this harvester will. And I parked literally right in front of the harvester. Yeah, we'll, we'll move this around. All right, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hydrostatic. Gonna have to turn that down on road speed here. There we go. I wanna do road speed up this trailer. We don't have much forgiveness on either side. We have to go change our shorts. Alright. I think that's almost good. Oh. Let's see. What? Come on, there's got to be some squat. I was hoping for a little bit of squat here. Yeah, we might have a little bit of Carolina squat going on, but... I'm a little surprised. I would think, well, I guess we are kind of even in between them duels. Them dual axles. So, but that's still a lot of weight. The 
back of this thing. All right, so I actually parked the harvester backwards. That way we don't get, I mean, we don't have exactly have mud flaps back here. So if one of these rocks kicks up, we ain't losing a windshield, hopefully. So I got our two other items loaded up here. So I ended up just going with some Brent uh, gravity wagons here. So hoping that they will suffice Kind of like in the old Jeepers Creepers, maybe? I think that's that truck. But we'd have to get a grain bed. It'd be costly. It's, I'm going, trying to go as efficient as possible. You see my uh, head here. Now, this is probably like the smallest head on this car ever. So you, we got a lot of room for forgiveness on this uh, head car here. But hopefully this old OBS can pull this big mama. I'm hoping. Uh, it's coming. Oh, yeah. It's actually moving fairly good. As long as we don't get a huge headwind, we should make it back safe we better put the okay we got the hazards on now Ooh, these train tracks are always hard on equipment especially when they're trailered when we lose it uh, 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 uh. oh it's a rocking back and forth look at that thing yeah all right I think we're on the home stretch. We still have one more train track to go. Oh, we'll pull it up this hill. Oh, it's struggling. Made it. A little bit worried this... This, uh, grain... We don't have much clearance. Are we going to miss it? We are high. We are extremely high. Wow, that's close. Are we gonna miss this one up here? That that was extremely close. This is off an inch from the other one. We're we're screwed. Oh, we made it. Wow. Oh, wow, we got the rocks going. Ooh, we made it. Now if we could just make it up this big hill back to our farm, that's going to be. We're definitely not going 55. We might, we might get up there. Definitely not going to break anytime quick. Alright. Will this beast make it up? This is an unforgiving hillside. Ooh, we're doing little power hops. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, this thing, this thing's a monster, look at it, oh man, we're not going to steer, but we're going to get it up there, wow, oh wow, look at that thing go, OBS monster here, oh man, are we going to make it up the hill, this thing is screaming up this hill, come on, you can do it. Oh, it's just power hopping. Oh. You hear that? Oh no. Uh oh. I think I think I see the red and blues. Should we run? Oh man, we are definitely overloaded. Uh oh. Oh no. Cops. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, I didn't see him. Hood was in the way. Uh, uh, what's going on? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get blast here. Put your hands in the air. Driver, step out of the vehicle. Driver, step out of the vehicle. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
put your hand oh, no. in the air. I think we're in trouble now. Ooh. Hopefully we can get out of this predicament. Thank you all for watching. See you next time in the 90s or in jail, one of the two. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Oh, I hope they don't wave their axles here. Man, and I, am I done for if they do. That's going to be a huge fine. Make sure you like the video. Helps me out a ton. And if you just want to do it, you can hit that uh, dislike button twice. Just thumbs down. Just make sure you hit it twice, not once. Thank you all for watching.